So, welcome to my tutorial on how to do uh, some scanning on values that you might not be able to find out via simple, normal methods of add the, enter the value and you know find it pretty much. Um, this is going to be for video values that the developers maybe change through code that, and you can't tell what they're supposed, what the actual value is, or maybe for like a health bar type of thing. Um, it works for that also. It works for a lot of different things actually, but it's basically for any unknown value. Um, I'll give you a, a good example is Civilization 5's gold. Um, I'm going to show you where this is useful and how to actually do it. So here we go. Uh, first off, I'm going to tell all my people to get out of the damn way here. So yeah, whatever. Make a worker do whatever research. Don't tell me anything. Okay. Now I go to the next turn. So you might already know how this works, but Right now we know that I have three gold, so we'll try to do an exact scan first. And we start off with uh, you know about 650,000 results, not a big deal. So now we get our second search. Now we're down to six, now we're down to 197 results. Let the value go up again. Now we're up to five, now we got one result. So okay, cool, looks like we've got what we're looking for. We'll change it to 12 just to see. If, uh, if it's actually the value, and it looks like, no, it does not change. Um, great. Uh, so, turns out that's not the right value. So that's not going to help us out very much. We're going to go ahead and set this back to 9 and call it good. And we'll start a new scan. Um, since we don't know what that value actually is, we can do what's called an unknown initial value. Now, you can try different types of values. Um, if you're not sure what it's going to be, you can use an all. Since I know the value actually is going to be a 4 byte value, I'm just going to set it to 4 bytes just to make it more, a lot quicker that way. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this useless code because it actually didn't do anything. So anyway, so we do our first scan just like normal, and that's going to, but we're going to do it with an unknown initial value. So it brings up about 314 million results. Quite a lot. But don't worry, it's going to be okay. So. Now we know the value has gone from 9 to 12, so clearly the value has increased. Next scan. So now we're down to 1.9 million. Um, this is good because now we have less results. Um, now one thing you can see is that some values are turning red. What that means is that those values are currently changing right now, which means that they're clearly not this value because if they were, they wouldn't be changing at this moment. So we could just set this to unchanged value and hit next several times. And this will weed out a lot of values that are just randomly changing that have nothing to do with the current value that we're looking for. So after doing that for a little while, we'll go ahead and stop. And then we'll let the value go up again. And we see that it has increased, so we'll do an increased value, scan. Down to 58,000, it's a fair number, fairly small number. Got up to 18, so the value is increased. Continuing on, let the value go up again. And do another scan. Wait for the gold to go up again. And then we scan again. <laughs> and now we do a few more unchanged value scans to kind of get rid of some more of the straggling values. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, looks like we just about got rid of most of them. Okay, so we'll let the value go up one more time. It has increased value. Cool. Okay, so now we're at a lot less, still a lot more than I would like. Uh, but we can start to kind of look through and see if we see any kind of a pattern or anything that stands out. And just by looking, I don't really see anything. That's making me stop and think. So we'll just have to keep going about this. This is a very slow method of trying to find a value. Uh, I'm just going to say that right away. <laughs> it takes time and patience, and it sucks. Um, one thing you could do is you can set hotkeys to your uh, values. So, it's going up. I'm going to let it go up again.
Because I'm just kind of, oh, shut up, lady. Okay, how are you going up more? <laughs> so, we'll go another increased value scan. Oh my god, this one's taking forever. I have some shut up, I don't care about your information. Oh man, okay. Do I see anything? Uh, get rid of some stuff. Again, this is one of those times when binding things to a hotkey makes it a lot quicker and easier. Uh, I don't yet see anything particularly standout-ish. I guess I could continue searching. Searching. I'm just going to go up. Uh, shut up. We are vulnerable to attack. Oh, I can't get shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, it also goes by quicker if you can actually like spend some, make it go a different direction, make it go up or down. And it's quicker if you can do it without having to, you know, follow stuff that's constantly going up. Because right now you have to figure that my opponent's gold is also going up. Um, Oh my god, shut up. Just don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And okay, so it's higher now. Great. So we'll take another check around and look to see if there's anything standing out. Alright, we've got about 107 gold. 117. It's close-ish, I guess. But not really. I that's, that's interesting. It's 107,000. Well, maybe if we'll, maybe if I try this one. So let's say I jump this up to about 200,000. Nothing's changed right away, but oh, yep, yeah, that seems to have done it. So now I've got 200,000. So for civilization five, civilization five rather, <laughs> what they've done is they've multiplied what you actually see on the screen by 100, and that's the actual value that it is. So if I change this to 200,000, it'll now be 2,000. Boom, 2,000. So that's how that's done. And you can see this is going to be a lot easier to search for once you know how they do it. So 2,000 plus two, plus two more zeros. First scan. Now I've only got a small fraction of things. And I know it's, or I think it was that one. I don't know. We try it again. Another turn and... So you 2,700, and I am. So that is the right value. So there it is. So that's pretty much how you do uh, how you do an unknown initial value search. There's many different ways to do it. Um, you can even do it once if you have an initial value. You can do it from any point in your search, really. You can even do values between. So if I didn't know where it would be possibly, I could do value between blah and blah. Um, I could also do by a change value if I didn't know what the initial value was. Uh, I can compare it to the first scan, which would be, you know, weird, and I, I haven't found a good use for that yet so far, uh, maybe at some point. That's pretty much how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one, which will be probably about pointers, which will use a different game, because this one sucks for going in and out of it. But thanks again, and see you.